Essential serviceman Aloysius Pang was crushed by the gun barrel of a military vehicle he was repairing, being unable to get out of the way in time. A 28-year-old homegrown actor who was on reservist duties died from his injuries yesterday. Details of the military training incident were given today at a media conference. This is what the inside of a self-propelled howitzer looks like. 28-year-old Corporal First Class Aloysius Pang was in a space like this when he was performing maintenance works. Repairs required the vehicle's gun barrel to be lowered and Corporal First Class Pang could not get out of its way in time. He was crushed in the process. It takes about 9 seconds for the gun barrel to be lowered. During the media conference, chaired by the Singapore Chief of Defence Force, the Army shared that Corporal First Class Pang, an armament technician, was called on to diagnose a vehicle fault. Two others with him in the cabin were not injured. It's understood that the artillery vehicle, which was in operation for nearly 15 years, was in proper shape when it was shipped for the exercise. It's also the first time the ministries encountered a serious injury involving the vehicle. An independent committee of inquiry will look into whether protocols were followed. There's a certain safety pro protocol to follow in repair work uh, in the cabin. So the technicians are taught uh, to go to a safe place when they do certain maintenance tasks. Yeah, so this is part of their mo uh, vocational training as a technician. For Aloysius, this is not his first time. Uh, in fact, this is his seven in-camp training. He has done five high-key and uh, two low-key. Uh, proud to uh, exercise under warrior, he has standard uh, uh, maintenance vocational training, refresher training. After the incident, he was conscious en route to the hospital. He was also able to speak to his mother after his first surgery. But his condition later took a turn for the worse. For major trauma patients, we also know that there's a certain clinical cause. So for Aloysius, um, the first two surgeries were planned. The first one was life-saving and the second one was a planned surgery. And after that, when I spoke to Dr. Teo and the New Zealand team, they told me that they are already expecting complications. You cannot, you know, have such a severely injured patient and not expect complications. Look, they are already expecting complications. Uh, they just don't know when it will set in. Um, so when he started to deteriorate, they, they knew that the complications had started and, and uh, that's when the third surgery uh, happened and subsequently he was put on uh, artificial life support. Waikato Hospital is a, is a tertiary centre. That means that it's got the entire suite of clinical services, cardiac surgery, neurosurgery and so on. And over and above that, it is a regional trauma centre. So not all tertiary centres are trauma centres, but in this case, Waikato Hospital is both. Now at this point in time, the army is still liaising with New Zealand authorities on when they can bring his body back, but there's no confirmed date yet. Now, as for compensation to the family, the army also declined to reveal details citing confidentiality but said that it references the Work Injury Compensation Act and that amounts paid out tend to be higher. Now, SAF and MINDEF will continue to assist the family. Now, the incident has also prompted an army-wide safety timeout and reviews on training tempo and safety processes. At the media conference, top brass stressed the responsibility of the Singapore Armed Forces in ensuring the safety of personnel. It will not be business as usual for the Singapore Armed Forces. The death of Corporal Aloysius Pang during a military training incident in New Zealand has prompted the Singapore Defence Ministry to call for an army-wide safety timeout. The top brass has also called on commanders to do a review of safety processes and training intensity in the coming days. We recognise that every time we fall short, the cost could be very costly. I have told all my commanders but this cannot be business as usual. We are very sorry for every training death that happens in the SCA. Following the safety timeout, I have asked all the services in the SCA to come back and to review their training tempo with a view to lowering the training tempo. For how long? After the safety timeout, perhaps a month, two. We will reduce our training tempo and review this across the SCF to focus on safety. To focus on safety for all our NSFs and NSMen. What does this mean? This will take the form of lowering the duration, the intensity, the frequency 
of existing training, take some things out, to do training better at a more sustainable pace, focus on safety. The General also stressed the Army's responsibility to those serving the nation. Every serviceman is a son, it's a, a brother, a husband or, or a father and we, we owe it to them and to their loved ones that they return home safely. We are committed to the safety of all our soldiers and we practice safety at all levels and all servicemen have a part to play. Okay, we know that. Uh, on the one hand, you, we need our commanders to look after their soldiers, soldiers to look after themselves, the buddies to look after each other. This incident comes after a spate of military training incidents that led to deaths in the past year. In April last year, Corporal First Class Dave Lee Hanxuan died after suffering from heat stroke. Months later, Corporal First Class Liu Kai died after a bionics vehicle reversed into the Land Rover he was in. An army-wide safety timeout was declared after the incident. Independent committees of inquiry were also convened for these two incidents, with outcomes yet to be released. A KC-135 military aircraft from the Air Force has been sent to New Zealand to repatriate the body of Corporal First Class Aloysius Pang. Defence Minister Ng Enhan said this in a Facebook post today, where he also expressed his condolences, adding that no words or deeds can relieve his family's sorrow or replace their loss. Dr. Ng said that grief counsellors are on the ground to comfort the family. Dr. Ng also advised SEF soldiers to inform their commander of any unsafe practices or to stop training to protect themselves and their fellow soldiers. He added that no one needed to fear any disciplinary action for doing right to protect lives during training. In the meantime, the death of actor Aloysius Pang has shocked the entertainment industry. Many celebrities have come out to offer their condolences, speaking of his character and mourning the loss of a good actor. Tadajan 听到这个消息的时候更遍场所有的人